If you're a mom or a mom-to-be, you may be experiencing a common medical condition that affects your stomach. Well, my next guest is mom and trainer, Andrea Allen, who's going to share her three exercises to help tighten up that tummy. My name's Andrea Allen, and I am the founder of Deliciously Fit and Healthy. I am the mother to four girls and I developed diastasis recti with my twin pregnancy. Diastasis is characterized by a pinching of the lower belly. It basically happens when your pores separates or partially separates during pregnancy and it just is a little bit weaker. Many women heal on their own naturally after this happens, but others do not like myself. I decided to educate myself, heal my own core, and help other women do the same along the way. I'm going to show you three exercises to help you improve your core. And whether you have diastasis or not, it's going to be effective if you just want a stronger core. First up, toe taps. Inhale, filling your diaphragm with air and relax the pelvic floor. Then exhale, lift the pelvic floor and draw the transverse abdominals in and lift one foot off the ground at a time. While you're keeping your inner core connected, tap each heel down with a small exhale as you tap down. You never want to hold your breath, you are just holding the core connection. To make this move more challenging, you can squeeze the ball as you tap down or you can use a resistance band and pull out as you tap down with the band. Make sure that your core is not doming during the movement. Second, we will do hover toe drags. Inhale, filling the diaphragm with air and exhale while you lift your pelvic floor and draw your transverse abdominals in with an audible breath. You can use an S breath to make the movement slow and controlled. Slightly lift your knees off the ground and you can stay in this hover position or you can drag your toe out and back in slowly to add more challenge. Make sure that you are keeping your inner core engaged throughout the range of motion once your knees are off the ground. And finally, we have have side plank knee tucks. Lift the pelvic floor and wrap the transverse abdominals in as you go into a side plank. For a modification, start with one knee down. Keep your elbow and shoulder parallel to each other. Exhale as your knee comes up and inhale as the leg straightens. For a more advanced version, go into a full side plank. When you're ready, add the knee raise. Exhaling as the knee comes up and inhaling through your nose as it straightens. Make sure your ankle, hips, and shoulders are creating a straight diagonal line. I know diastasis recti can be super discouraging and make you feel alone, but I promise the first step is awareness and you really can see improvements. Don't give up. I know you can do this. So Dr. Nita, you're the expert on moms and moms to be. What do you think? I, I love that she's giving these tips because, you know, this is a common question that I get whether I'm talking to a pregnant mom or a mom who has just delivered, whether it's vaginally or by way of cesarean section. But you know, we always want to remind moms though, your body is beautiful. You did something amazing, something that guys can't do. 